Hello everyone and welcome back to The Legend of Dragoon, episode 7 in our playthrough. Now you might be a little confused, what are you doing in Vale, Cory? you might ask, because you were supposed to be going to Volcano Villud and you aren't there and I don't know what's happening. Here's the deal, I missed some stuff and uh, the episodes are already up so I can't really fix them. But uh, Legend of Dragoon is, is the type of game where there's a ton of secrets and a ton of things that you'll miss. So one of the first things that I did, I've been fairly consistent and most of the things I'm going to show you in this in this bit, uh, they don't actually fully matter. But I thought I'd show this anyways as like a supplemental uh, video. It's not really part of the main series. Consider it episode 6.5 if you will. So I came back to Bale because I wanted to head into this item shop and actually stock up on some Spear Frost items because we're not actually going to see any Spear Frost for quite some time. And because we are going to Volcano Villud, where water-based attacks do a ton of damage, uh, I figured, you know what, let's buy some of these. So I ended up coming back all the way here to buy four of them. Not a huge deal, but something that I figured I'd do anyways. On the way to Bale, I encountered a unique monster, which I'll talk about uh, a little bit later. Now, I'm actually going all the way back, guys, to the prairie, which means I'm going through the limestone cave. I'm going through all of that to go back to the prairie to show you an, uh, a, a chest, a unique chest that I missed in the game. All right. I know, I know that was like a, a little bit of an edit, but... Uh, so remember way back when, in episode like three, when we were here in the prairie and we hid behind this giant rock. Well, there's actually a missable item if you come, or a missable chest anyways, if you come this way, back to where we ran from the Sandora soldiers that were chasing us. It's kind of hard to tell, but this way actually leads to a hidden chest right through there. I actually never ever knew this to, so shout out to the GameFAQs forums for actually uh, showing that this was a, a hidden chest. We got the other two hidden chests that are, are known, um, but I, I, I needed to show that one because literally you won't see it unless you know it's there. While backtracking, Dart, his Dragoon level, he got level two and learned Explosion. Good for him, dude, good for him. All right, we're back out of the, uh, the limestone cave. There's something in Bale though. Oh my god, there's something in Bale that I would like to show you. Like I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by a random encounter, we want to head over to Bale, which is where we are right now. We want to go to Lapitz's mom's house, because there is a chance uh, that we will have some extra dialogue here if we go talk to her. So let's go in here. We're not missing any items or anything. I just thought that it would might be fun to come uh, over to Lavitz's mom's house and see how she's doing. Thanks to that family, my house has lightened up. What do you mean, that family? What? What does she mean? <gasps> Who's this? I am very lucky to be taken care of by your mother. What? I found a job here in town. Wait a minute. It's the family that we saw over in... Yeah, the family from the prairie that we saw all those ages ago. Uh, where's the kid, though? There he is. Or she is? It's a she. Oh, interesting. Anyways, I thought that that was pretty. That was pretty cool. You can you can see this now. If only the boy was at ease around me. If only the. It is a boy. I'm confused. Anyways, uh, that is a, a little bit of unique dialogue that you can get if you come here. Uh, now, there's a uh, unique dialogue later too, but we're not gonna. I'm not gonna talk about that right now. But I'll mention it when it's de there. I'm not gonna come all the way back to show it or anything like that, but. Uh, it's definitely, definitely worth noting. So yeah, I did all of that backtracking literally just to show you 100G, but there's one more thing I would like to show you in this episode right around right here. I would say keep trying to get into a random encounter until you encounter the yellow bird. Which we did right away, excuse me? So anyways, okay, never mind. That's embarrassing. And here we go, my friends. We encountered our first unique monster, the yellow bird. Unique monsters all have less than 10 health. Actually, the highest health, six. Un yellow bird, four. Only four health. 
Right away, though, we are going to use Rose to cast the Magic Stone of Signet that we got, which will prevent the Yellow Bird from uh, taking a turn for three rounds, which is good because they tend to try to run away. These things have incredibly, incredibly high evasion. Luckily, Lavitz was able to get it with our first ever Spinning Cane Edition. That is two so far. It has four health. Every single attack that you do does one, unless you miss, in which case you do zero. So this thing is probably going to run away from us. So let's go ahead and see if I can. We got a two damage done so far, and it's probably going to run away as soon as it takes its turn, unless Dart gets a turn before it does. Lavitz got another attack. Please don't run away. Oh, perfect. It's going to attack Rose. Beautiful. We might be able to take this down right now. Yes, because Dart was able to hit, because Dart is the man. Down goes our first ever unique monster. Eight of them are in the game, and that is our first one that we have defeated. This does have a chance of dropping an item called the Elude Cloak, and unfortunately it did not, but it did give us 300 gold. Feel free to farm this thing as much as you want. Something else that I'll say is different unique monsters give different things. For instance, there is a red bird that gives a thousand gold. There's a blue bird that gives a thousand experience, which is a lot of experience. Or, even better than all of that, a rainbow bird, which gives 3,000 experience. Yes! Oh my god! Okay, I was able to do it! I was able to farm out the Elude Cloak from the Yellow Bird, which is a rare accessory. Oh, so exciting. Now, uh, well, it's not really rare. Uh, okay, this is the earliest you can get it, okay? You can get it later on, I know, I know, but from a shop you can you can literally buy it in a shop but i don't care because this is the earliest you can get it and it's it's just cool to be able to get it so early so you'll see that that actually raises our evasion by 20 percent increases escape rate from physical attack by 20 points it's actually surprisingly pretty good pretty pretty good especially if you're willing to like rose for instance she'll lose some damage because she'll get rid of the power wrist on that uh but i mean She's, well, she'll lose, okay, so we're not gonna take that off of her because she just does so much, but like 25% evasion, every every fourth attack she's gonna dodge, that's amazing, so good. I'm actually not even equipping it right now. But I, you know, it's worth it to show you it exists. All right, all right, I know what you're thinking, guys. Wow, Corey, that was pretty excessive uh, to backtrack that far, all the way, you can literally see everything we did on the map, just for a hundred, a hundred G, right? But like, listen, it was worth it. I got to show you the unique monster, the hidden chest, and probably more importantly than, than all of that, I was also able to almost max out Volcano. Volcano is almost maxed out. Two more additions from Dart, and we will move on to Burning Rush, and then we'll move back to Volcano because we have a lot of boss fights in the next episode. But we also are able to get Lavitz, his spinning cane. We're eight out of 20 already. Pretty good stuff. And of course, Rose is 64 out of 80 on her whip smack, meaning that she might even get that before she gets her second edition, which is pretty darn cool, man, and super useful for the battles that we have coming up. Thank you guys for watching this little, uh, this little extras video, I suppose, this supplemental 6.5. This is episode 6.5. In the next episode, we are going to be tackling, uh, we're going to be tackling Volcano Villude, which is where we should have been in this episode, but it's cool. So hopefully I'll see you guys there. And remember, never give up, never surrender to all of the extra things that are super hidden in this game.